As long as you have breath in your lungs on this earth, you have free will, you have choice to repent, you have choice to live for God, you have a choice to enter into victory, who is Jesus. Jesus is victory. And it's great to have you back for another Daily Psalm series video. Today I'm going to share with you Psalm 137. And so let's get straight into the Word of God. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, ye, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst of it. For there those who carried us away captive asked of us a song. And those who plundered us requested mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I do not exalt Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom, the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it to its very foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy the one who repays you as you have served us. Happy the one who takes and dashes your little ones against the rock. And that's Psalm 137. What I'm personally picking up today is a position of what seems to be defeat. And I think this is a place that Satan wants us as Christians to feel is to feel defeated, to feel like we've lost the battle, to feel like there's no hope to continue. But what Satan doesn't want us to know is that as long as we have breath in our lungs, there's always hope. God is our Redeemer. He fights the battles for us and He always wins at the end of the day. Our job is to remain in God's kingdom, doing kingdom works by faith, not allowing these lies of the enemy to try and bring us down, these lies of defeat. As long as you have breath in your lungs on this earth, you have free will, you have choice to repent, you have choice to live for God, you have a choice to enter into victory, who is Jesus. Jesus is victory. And it's so sad that so many people nowadays are struggling with depression, believing the lies of Satan, that there's no hope, that there's no purpose, that there's no point in continuing. But really, God's promises in His Word is what really keeps us going. It what shows us that there is hope in God because God will not leave us in a place of darkness. God will not leave us in a place of defeat. God has shown me countless times how faithful He is and how He has always come through for me. He has always come to my rescue. And I know He will do the same for you if you would continue to trust Him. Praise Jesus, guys. Let's close and pray right now. Heavenly Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that you have called us. Thank you that you have anointed us. You have appointed us. And I just pray right now, Lord, for victory to rise up within us. Lord Jesus, have your way in us. Work in us and purify us. Build us up in strength. Build us up in guidance and protection on the way forward that all the lies of the enemy will be deflected by the shield of faith that we have, the faith that we have in you. So I just pray that the faith that this person has who's watching this video will never die out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for upliftment, encouragement, and blessings upon blessings for those who are watching. And we give you, Lord, all the glory and all the praise and the honor and the thanks. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Glory to God, guys. Thank you for watching today's session. I will see you tomorrow for Psalm 138. God bless and may the peace of Jesus rest upon you in His mighty name. Amen.